In answering questions in application of derivatives, it's really important to you know the notation that is being used in each problem. Like s is equal to f of t or s prime equal to f prime of t and s double prime equal to f prime of t. So these notations are uh, what we usually see in um, solving word problems involving derivatives. So the first function, s equals f of t, is the position of a function with respect to time. So that is basically the original function that you will see in some word problems, especially in problems in rectilinear motion or uh, a particle moving in uh, a certain distance. Now, the second derivative is always your velocity, and it is denoted by this notation. You can use s prime, f prime, ds over dt, or v of t. All of them um, is basically asking you to find the derivative or the first derivative so that you will find the velocity. So the instantaneous velocity is given to the first derivative, and it's important that you know the notations for velocity or some of the properties of your velocity. So if your velocity value is positive, your particle is moving forward, and for your velocity less than zero or negative value, it's moving backwards. Now, if you're being asked to find the speed of a moving particle, all you need to do is to find the absolute value of your velocity, and you'll find its speed. Now, for double prime, S double prime of t, it is your acceleration or instantaneous acceleration, and sometimes it's also called the change in velocity. So if you see all these keywords in a word problem, you should be able to know how to um, use calculus or derivatives in answering each of them. Now in this example, we're going to um, answer questions about distances and how much uh, distance th did a particle travel in a given uh, interval. And in this question, the position of a particle is given by the function s equal to t cubed minus 6t squared plus 90, where t is in seconds and s is in meters. Now, there are two questions that we need to answer. The first question is we need to find the total distance traveled by the particle during uh, the first five seconds. And the uh, second question is we need to find the displacement after five seconds. So to answer the first question, we need to find the velocity. So the velocity will determine the intervals of the time that is required for us to solve in this particular word problem. So your original function, your position is at t cubed minus 6t squared plus 9t. Your velocity, which is the first derivative, will give you 3t squared minus 12t plus 9. Now, you're going to equate the velocity to zero so you can find or you can see the intervals of this given particle moving in a um, certain period of time. So here to find the uh, values of t, you just need to factor it because we know that this quadratic equation is factorable. That's what I've shown here. And we have two factors of the velocity, which is t minus 3 and t minus 1 by zero product property. The two intervals that we have is t equals 3 and t equals 1 from your velocity function. Now, going back to our question and finding the total distance traveled by the particle in the first five seconds, this is my illustration on uh, this distance traveled by this particle. So I started at zero seconds, and then I need to end at five seconds. And since I know my interval between zero and five using my velocity function, I need to include it in my interval. So I have one, two, three intervals in my um, problem right here. So I need to find the distance traveled by that particle from 0 seconds to 1 second, which is the first interval, from 1 second to 3 seconds, and from 3 seconds to 5 seconds, so I can answer the first question. And to find the distance, you just need to find the absolute value of f of 1 minus f of 0, or your uh, terminal minus initial. So to uh, find the absolute value, f of 1 is your original function, so you will use t cubed minus 60 squared plus 90 for all these functions so we can find its position. So we have f of 1, substitute the value of 1, and we'll have 4. So f of 1 is equal to 4, and f of 0 is equal to 0. By using the formula, the absolute value of 4 minus 0 is 4 meters. So the particle moved 4 meters from 0 seconds to 1 second. And that's just for the first interval. And for the second interval, it's going to be f of 3 minus f of 1 f of 3 is equal to 0, and f of 1, we already found f of 1, which is equal to 4. Find the absolute value of the difference of the two, and you'll have 4 meters. And for the third interval, we have 3 seconds to 5 seconds. We need f of 3 and f of 5. So find the absolute value of f of 5, terminal minus initial, and you'll have 20 
minus 0. So for my last interval, the position moved by 20 meters. Now to answer the question, because we haven't answered the question yet, we just found the distance traveled by this particle for each interval. You just need to add them up so that you can find its sum or its total distance. And this is how I will answer the questions. So the total distance traveled by the particle during the first five seconds is 28 meters. So I simply added the three intervals that I uh, found on the, the previous slide to answer the question. And to answer the last problem, displacement problem, the displacement of the particle after five seconds will be 20 meters. And to answer that question, simply find the value of f of 5 and subtract it to f of 0, which is your starting point and you'll get 20 meters. So f of 5 and f of 0, we already found it from the previous slide, and we just substituted it to find its displacement.